Hi, so for this one it says five deposits of a hundred remain to the fund at two year intervals with the first deposit at the beginning of the first year. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, first deposits at the beginning of the first year, so let's see a hundred here. And then every two years. Three, four. I'm gonna make sure that there are five deposits. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the fund earns interest at an annual effective rate of four percent during the six years. Okay, so annual four percent, and then annual rate of five percent thereafter during these periods. Calculate the annual effective yield rate we earned over the investment period ending at the tenth year. Okay, so. We see here that these payments are occurring in two-year intervals. So what we're going to do is first we're going to convert these annual effective rates into two-year effective rates, right? So we're going to do 1.04 squared one plus j, right? Same here, 1.05 squared equals one plus j. Now what does j equal to here? Eight point sixteen percent. It's going to be 10.25%. Okay, now let's find what this whole thing is accumulated to, right? Uh, to find, so we can find the annual effective yield rate earned over the investment period. So we'll do, you see here that it's starting from here, it's 100. Future value do uh for let's do it for the first three payments to the 8.16th power and then thereafter it would be one two three four right so it'll be an annual effective four years throughout that would, that's what happens to the accumulations for this part. The second part would be an annuity due, a future value, or two payments. At and 25 now what we're going to do is that we're going to solve these, right? Uh, I'm going to get rid of the do. I'm going to multiply this by 0.0. So I'm going to get rid of the do here. I'm going to multiply this by now for this one, it would be ten times one oh eight point sixteen, right? Payment.
This one's going to be 351.68. So this whole thing will equal right, and then this one is one hundred times, which is one ten point twenty five. Payment to going twenty five. So your row is uh, and the values compute future value. This is going to be two thirty one point eighty. Now let's solve for the accumulated value. It's going to be. 427.469 plus 231.81 minus 1.269. So our goal is to find one single annual effective yield rate earned over the investment period, right? So we're going to take this accumulated value and we're going to make a new equation of the $100 payments. There are five in all of S, the annuity due of I. Now I'm going to erase this so we can have some more space. Hold on. Now then, we're going to set these equal to each other. We're going to try to find what I is. So I feel like the only way for me to do that is to expand this notation. I don't think you could really solve it, especially since this is a annuity due using the TVM. I don't think that's possible. So what I'm going to do is going to do 100 S to the 5i. Expand it to 100 times. You can expand this to, uh, it's always n plus 1, so it's going to be 5 plus 1, 6. In all, interest rate minus 1. Right now. I could uh, set this equal to six five nine two six. Okay, I should divide a hundred by both sides. So this could be equal to six point five nine. Two six nine. Also add this to the other side, so it becomes seven. Now I could find I, so I'm gonna use my TVM. I'm gonna get one as the payment, six as the number of years, zero as the present value, one point five nine two six nine as the Future value, now compute interest rate. And I'm going to find that the interest rate is 9.36. Now, this answer is far off from the choices that are, that are given to us because we need to, um, 
we need to because this is a the annual you do give based on a two year interval. We need to convert this to a annual annual effective field rate, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna set the one point zero nine three six that we found. Right? We're gonna say equal to an annual effective rate. This equal to two year rate. So now we're gonna solve for i. So I'm gonna one half the other side, one half. So it's gonna be 1.036 to the one half and then minus one. I'm going to get 0 0.04575, which means that, well, this one's still basically 4.57%. This one's out. It's, it's closest to this answer.